Welcome to the chapter Equal Shades and Equal Groups. This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Explain about division of numbers Define the multiplication of numbers Differentiate between multiplication and division Calculate the quotient and remainder of numbers Introduction In the previous chapter, we have learnt about multiplication and division of two numbers and also the estimation of numbers. In this chapter, we are going to learn how to divide the sum into equal shares and also how to multiply two different numbers. Let us see the introduction on equal shares and equal groups. Anita planned to distribute chocolates to her class members on the occasion of her birthday. So, she brought a chocolate box. There are 40 chocolates in the box and the strength of the class is 20. She wants to share the chocolates equally among all the members. So, she got an idea to share the chocolates equally. She implemented it. Do you know how she calculated it? Let us see how. First, she started distributing one chocolate to each person and checked the remaining chocolates. After distribution, there are 20 chocolates left. Now again, she distributed the remaining chocolates as one chocolate for each person. Finally, each person got two chocolates. This can simply calculate it as 40 divided by 20 equals to 2. To share the things equally, we simply can use division. Let us see another example for equal sharing, that is division. Suppose Ramu brought 20 pencils for his four kids and asked them to share equally. How did they share and how many pencils did each of them get? Let's see. Kid 1 started distributing the pencils one after the other to each of them. Finally, each of them got 5 pencils. By doing this, it will take more time. In the simplest way, we can divide 20 by 4 and the result is 5. Each of them will get 5 pencils. Let us see some examples on division. Let us see the explanation of divide and multiply. Let us observe the figure closely. There are groups of triangles filled in a box. To calculate the total number of triangles in the box easily, we can divide the figure into two groups. Let us divide the figure into two halves. There are two rows of triangles in the figure and each row consists of six triangles. So, the total number of triangles is equal to number of rows multiplied by number of triangles in each row. That is, 2 into 6 equals to 12. Now, if we want to calculate the number of triangles in each row, we can simply divide the total number of triangles by the number of rows. That is, 12 divided by 2 equals to 6. Let us see some example problems on multiplication. Let us perform an activity on divide and multiply. Fill in the blanks with the appropriate answers.
Now, let us watch a scenario about quotient and remainder in division. Pawan, Sandeep and Abhishek went to a sweet shop to buy sweets. Pawan asked the person to give dry fruit sweets for 160 rupees. Then he gave 10 sweets. Sandeep divided them and gave 3 sweets to Pawan, 3 sweets to Abhishek and he also took 3 sweets but there is one more sweet which can't be divided. So they left it as the remainder. This can be written as shown on screen. Let us see some examples on quotient and remainder. Let us take an example to calculate the division of bigger numbers. Let's do the division of the number 250 by 2. We have two methods to find the answer. Now let's see the first method. Step 1. 2 into 100 is closer to 250 because 2 into 200 becomes 400 which is greater than 250. Step 2. After step 1, it leaves a remainder of 50, which is 25 times of 2, that is, 2 into 25 equals to 50. Step 3, so 250 divided by 2 leaves the remainder as 0 and quotient as 100 plus 25 equals to 125. Now, let's see the second method. Step 1. Now we are going to divide the numbers individually. While dividing, we should start division from highest place value. So, the first digit to divide is 2 and 2 is divisible by 2 in one time that is 2 into 1 equals to 2. Step 2. The remainder becomes 0. So the next digit will be carry forward. So now we should divide 5 by 2. We know that 2 into 3 equals to 6, which is greater than 5. We can't subtract 6 from 5. But 2 into 2 equals to 4, that is less than 5. Step 3. The remainder now becomes 10 as 0 is carry forward. And 10 is divisible by 2, that is 2 into 5 equals to 10, leaving remainder 0. Hence the quotient of 250 divided by 2 is 125. Let us see some examples of dividing bigger numbers. Let us see some exercise problems. Summary. Let us see the highlights of this chapter. In this chapter, we learned how to share the things equally. Understand the difference between multiplication and division. Perform the multiplication and division of any two numbers at a time. Found out the equations and remainders of the bigger numbers then divided by smaller numbers. Practice Joan. Try to solve the questions on your own. Click Solution to verify your answers. Follow-up work Divide the following Multiply the following I lie between 30 and 40 when I am divided by 5, there is a remainder of 3. Who am I? Evaluation. Check your understanding by taking a sample unit test.
you have successfully completed the chapter equal shares and equal groups